Okay. Yeah, we're ready. Okay. I was going to decorate with that, but it didn't work. Yeah. That's all right. Is that in the camera? Let's... Uh, uh, okay. So here goes. Here goes. Atlantic and Pacific flow, the Great Lakes to the Gulf of Mexico, the land between sustains us all, to cherish her our urgent call. Arise, arise, I see the future in your eyes. To a more perfect union we aspire, and lift our voices from the fire. <laughs> We reached these shores from many lands. We came with hungry hearts and hands. Some came by force and some by will to the auction block and the darkened mill. Arise, arise, I see the future in your eyes. To a more perfect union we aspire and lift our voices from the fire. We died in your fields and your factories, strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees, an old coat hanger in a room somewhere, a trail of tears, an electric chair. Arise, arise, I see the future in your eyes. To a more perfect union we aspire and lift our voices from the fire. And our great responsibility to be guardians of our liberty till tyrants bend to the people's dream and justice bends flows like a mighty stream. Arise, arise, I see the future in your eyes. To a more perfect union we aspire and lift our voices from the fire. That song is written by Gene Rowe and it's my national anthem for you at the beginning of the event. Well, hello and welcome to Community Church and it's so great to see a bunch of new faces and, and a bunch of new faces right in there. I see you right there. There you are. Um, we are uh, surrounded by beauty and uh, we are about to be surrounded by more beauty that are behind us. Um, I'd like to tell you um, a little bit about this, the, the way this came about was that Victor and, da, and Inez are, are good friends of the church and, and personally from a long time back. And I didn't even know about this mother of Victor's till he came and gave a talk here at the community church. And one thing led to another and here we are surrounded by the paintings of, of Diane Esmond. And it's, it's, it's a lovely thing. And tell your friends, these, uh, these paintings will hang here all the way through the holidays and the most magnanimous and amazing thing is that all sales from uh, from this event go to our major construction projects uh, in this church. The first one will be right above us. It's the roof and it's it's in November and uh, there's more projects we have after that. Our, our goal is to turn this building into a model of energy efficiency for the city of Boston. And, um, and we're taking it one piece at a time. And we've gotten a couple of pieces together already. So um, that's, that's what this is about. I want to tell you about our newsletter. Pick up one of these. We have a whole mess of events coming up in November, especially in the next few days. Um, tomorrow is a talk um, right here in this room given by Patricia and man, her last name is Elitz Gruber. 
Um, about Diane Esmond and the, the context of, of the art world, which she was in um, before World War II and, and after World War II. And then on Sunday, uh, our, our regular church event is John Pilger. And if you don't know about him, uh, join us either virtually or physically. John will, will be joining us virtually. We'll show one of his films, and then there'll be a question and answer afterwards. In the afternoon, the, the, the hall will be open for, uh, for gallery viewing, um, and it will be open during office hours uh, for gallery viewing. That's Monday, Wednesday, Friday, um, all the way through the holidays. Uh, we also have on Monday a, an event that we're co-sponsoring with the Tree of Life Foundation out of Connecticut that do a lot of work around the Middle East, Palestine, especially this is a, a three speakers from Hebron, which is uh, a place in the West Bank that's a both a, a beautiful, amazing Palestinian city and, and a sad, sad uh, story of what has happened during the occupation. Come and hear uh, three speakers and one, one person who's an accompaniment person, international accompaniment about the human rights abuses that are the city of Hebron. Um, on Tuesday, it's a small enough group that I'll tell you about this. Uh, it's it's kind of a private luncheon for Jeff Halper, who is um, the, the the founder and and president of the Israeli Committee to Ban Home Demolitions. Um, and this is this is just a chance to get acquainted with him. There there should be maybe maybe a dozen to twenty people. If you would like to join us, let me know and RSVP with me, and you can be you can be here with us. Um, and uh, it goes on from there. You can find out all the details right here. I um, just downloaded and printed uh, a whole mess of, uh, of uh, bio and uh, praise material about Josh Rosen and about Stan Strickland. But I'm, I think I'm going to skip it. I'm just going to say we are so honored to have them um, to enhance the, the beauty of this gallery already. Um, we thought we'd bring out the best of our stable of all different players. We have tons of tons of musicians who play here, different people just about every Sunday. We have a concert series that happens in the winter time. So that's it. Stan Strickland and Josh Rosen, let's welcome them. And thank you for being with us.
You need to be mic'd. We can't hear you. A new mic? Yeah, for the uh, video. Um, I'll just kind of reiterate. Um, <laughs> the first piece was entitled, uh, well, the very opening was entitled Slow Dance. That was just a response to being here with you. If you were, were not here, it would have sounded totally different. <laughs> um, and then the, um, the next pieces were just responses. It's, you know, it's very interesting when you're playing. We are sometimes listening to your hearing, or we're hearing your listening, or what we're imagining you're listening to be. So it's an interesting thing. We try to, you know, stay true to the moment, but we're here together, so we cannot avoid that. So in this situation, uh, I was looking at, the, I think it's an untitled painting. Could you tell where I was, my, my gaze was? And um, so there's a, the response to Josh, Josh responding to me looking, as well as you responding to his playing to my looking. <laughs> so it's a very interactive thing. And then we moved over to, uh, this is the title. Uh, and I responded to the painting, but also responded to uh, Josh's listening. So that was kind of fun. <laughs> uh, this is a composition by Josh entitled Sparks. Thank you. 
Thank you. 
I'm going to look at this painting right here for a little bit. Orange, abstract, orange?
music of that one, Josh.
Uh, okay, this next one is for the clown. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can see it with the top. Can we put it down, please? So it's not every day you get to play the art like this. <laughs>
Okay, help us out.
Josh Rosen. I wonder if anyone had any ideas, thoughts, that you thought maybe we should conjure up. I just had a question. Yeah. Uh, did, did you visit this exhibit before this evening? Uh, a little bit, you know, on the phone. So it's a little hard to oh, take it in, so. I'll never see the painting the same way again. <laughs> Well, it was really fun just to uh, spend that much time just actually just, yeah. you know, not questioning, just just being there. We have some great artists here. <laughs> you have any comments? <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think we're out of time. I think we should do one more little something. Yeah. One or two or three. Uh, <laughs> Let's see. Well, uh, we didn't really uh, look too much over there. It's a, it's a whole other kind of thing. Do you, you want to say anything? You should say a little something. Well, yes, I, I, I just want to say that I'm enormously grateful to you. Both. Victor, can you go up to the mic? Yeah. yeah. This whole celebration has been a tremendously important thing for me, something I've wanted to happen for a long time. And it's, it was only this summer that I thought of uh, inviting Josh and then, and then Stan to come and play, but they gave a dimension to this that I could never have expected and really brought to life uh, so much of the experience of everyone here. So it really made it an unforgettable evening. So I thank you so much, both of you. It's so interesting that both yours and Josh's uh, mothers were artists and painters. It's quite remarkable. So we haven't really uh, spent much time looking over there. I think that would be kind of cool. Yes?
Thank you. 
I just happen to have them right here to uh, to show them off to you. Seasons, Josh Rosen, Stan Strickland, Bruno Rayberg, and Dave Fox. Instinct, Josh Rosen and Stan Strickland. Three Moments, Stan Strickland, Ro Kalam, Bob Moses, and Josh Rosen. Stan and Josh, thank you for nourishing our souls tonight. This has been so great. And. Victor and Inez, thank you for bringing these paintings to beautify our space here. I want to also thank Crystal Rollins Jackson, who just did an enormous amount of work around this gallery display. She's our publications manager and office manager. I want to thank Amara Maud for doing our tech work here tonight and being a new member on our team. And I um, want to invite all of you to come down and see this beautiful display of, of incredible paintings. And if you feel so inspired, there happen to be some more libations in the back. And if you, this is a church, after all, you know. Um, and if you would, would like to libate a little more and look around the paintings and get inspired to take one home with you, uh, all proceeds to fix our roof and fix our front facade and do some other things. 
that would be beautiful. And don't forget, um, we have these, these CDs uh, from the artists in the back. Thank you all for being here tonight. Thank you, live audience, or, or video, uh, whatever you call it, the virtual stream audience. Um, and join us again at Community Church. We have a whole host of uh, activities. You can look at us on our on our website or our Facebook page and join us on any Sunday morning. We have a, a really wonderful uh, schedule of programs coming up. Good night!